Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And today we are going to talk about the Jade Audio EA3. Want to thank Intuit Reviews for sending these over for review. Do greatly appreciate it. Intuit Reviews, you're awesome. Check out the links below for a link to his channel. So Jade Audio is a subsidiary of FIO. And so that would make the Jade Audio EA3 a uh, cousin or a step brother or a little brother to the FIO FH1S. And they have some similarities, but a lot of differences. The similarities are they both have 26 um, ohms of impedance, 106 decibels of sensitivity, so they're extremely easy to drive. And then they also have that big, massive 13.6 millimeter dynamic driver and that balanced armature by Knowles. And you can kind of see the Knowles driver right there by the nozzle. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Turn it that way. There we go. So the universal build on the EA3 is decent. Uh, feels somewhat on the cheaper side and in the build. I mean, it's not anything spectacular as far as um, feel for the shells, but it's not ugly or feels like it's going to fall apart or anything like that. It just kind of feels like a cheap IEM does have a little bit of branding on it. it says jade audio very subtly which is nice and uh comfort wise eh, they're all right they're a little bit on the chunky side and i find that they put a little bit of pressure on the bottom part of my ear and then up here so after about 45 minutes to an hour i'll tend to start getting uncomfortable the stock tips that came with it were okay um, they're the standard FIO uh, tip and a problem that I had with the FH1S also resides with the EA3 and that is they just don't fit um, small is too small medium is just a little bit too big and large is way too large uh, if they just had a little bit different sizing they would fit perfect for me but they just don't so i had to go shopping for third party cable or cable tips speaking of the cable the cable is frustrating um it's a two pin removable nice thing is it does have red and blue indicators so you know left and right your hook is fine, has plenty of tension, um, just about the right amount of of tension on it. it. Don't have any problem with it going around my ear, it doesn't put pressure, doesn't pull my ears down, isn't too loose or anything of the sort. Where the problem lies is going from the split up, they just tangle and twist and you constantly have to pull them apart and they never stay separated and it's just annoying um, to me. And then the rest of the cable is just real thin and uh, it's just light. I mean, it feels good. It just feels cheap. feels like a $40 IEM cable. I, mm, meh, I'm okay with it. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's just average. Overall, I would say that um, build quality and comfort, cables, things like that, they're a 7 out of 10. Uh, nothing spectacular, but they're adequate. Isolation is decent when you put them in. Uh, you get about 50 to 60% of blocking up outside noises. So, you know, turn some music on. You'll be fine for a daily commute on a train uh, or bus or taxi something along those lines uber um, if you're going to talk to somebody or to cross the street i would recommend you pause your video your, your music or your videos or podcasts or whatever you're listening to because it's just plain rude um, when someone's talking to you and could be dangerous when you're trying to cross the street 
Anyways, um, yeah, that's all right. How do they sound? Mild V-shape, uh, large, bombastic, boomy bass, and a little bit uh, shouty and aggressive, harsh treble. The Jade Audio EA3 bass is fun. Uh, it is girthy, thick, warm, and um, you get a nice thump. You definitely know the bass is there. It's prominent, and it can be a little bit over uh, prominent at times. The EA3 has a mid bass emphasis. Um, upper bass and sub bass kind of take a back seat just a little bit, not like super recessed, but it is more mid bass prominent. You get a lot of thump and girth to it. Um, you get details and some clarity, but they're not the most resolving. Um, especially on busier tracks, you're going to get things to be a little bit more compacted and uh, clumped together. And you will lose a little bit of the details. In the mids, the mids have um, a little bit thinner of a sound to them, but they do have warmth. Uh, you get a little bit of bleed in from the bass, um, and you get a nice bodiness to it and it has a, a mostly natural uh, tone to it doesn't sound um, inaccurate in any way but I wouldn't say that they're the most um, clean of um, and most natural sounding mid the problem with is when you start to get into the upper mids and going into the lower treble region uh, they thin out a little bit more and they become somewhat uh, aggressive and shouty and uh, have a brighter tone to them and you can get some graininess and harshness in there also so on, on badly recorded tracks or just um, poor um, sources um, it won't sound very good um, in that region it can be very uncomfortable in the ears and I found myself skipping a lot of songs in my playlist as you got into the treble region, uh, it extends out nicely and it has good details, um, fairly decent uh, in clarity. But again, you do ha lose a little bit of that refinement and they can be a little bit harsh um, at times. Soundstage tends to be about average, um, nothing spectacular here. It's pretty much just a straight um, across from you, you're going to go right center left um, there is some gaps in between also so if you have things traveling across you will hear it go right center left um, the other issue is when a song is a little busy or, or large orchestras um, gaming um, issues like that or, or things like that the issue will be things will get a little blobbed together um, doesn't do a really good job of isolating and separating out uh, so you'll have a lot of things over on one side and a lot of things over here and you won't be able to really tell um, what each individual instrument or, or thing that you're listening to is <clears throat> so when in when you're listening to music if you have a song that has a lot of bass instruments playing at the same time um, it will kind of merge them all together and you will you won't be able to really get a lot of separation out you won't be able to tell um, the differences between cellos baritones and things like that or tubas and um, bassoons and um, instruments like that they all kind of sound the same or all like it's just one instrument playing instead of several different instruments in the mids, um, the male vocals sound better than female vocals. Females tend to be a little bit more harsh and a little bit more aggressive. Um, instruments that have uh, a, a more deeper acoustics, uh, guitars, pianos, things like that, or not pianos, uh, guitars, violins, things like that, they sound more natural. When you get into pianos, especially the upper keys of a piano, um, woodwinds, uh, acoustical instruments that have a, a higher tint to them banjo mandolins things like that they will sound a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more harsh at times the um 
Jade Audio EA3. They play decently on most sources, but I did find that they actually are a little bit source dependent, which was a little strange for me. I found that on my Pioneer XDP30R, they did not sound good at all. It didn't matter if I was playing Tidal, Deezer, or um, local files. Um, they just sounded harsh and aggressive and were way too bright. And that was with the volumes way down. I found that I was skipping the majority of my playlists. Moving over to the hi fi and Mega Mini, uh, they sounded a lot better. They d had a more warm tone to them, and the treble was more tame, but at times the bass was a little too overwhelming. And then the um, Echo Box Explorer, which is back there behind me, had actually the best of the three um, daps that I have. It just had a more normal sound to it um, didn't really add into the bass or into the treble and everything just kind of played as I expected it to uh, on my phone the Samsung Note 10 Plus with dongles it sounded very good I uh, did not have any issues with any of the dongles they all um, sounded great X-Duo Link sounded the best of the three Playing on the desktop, I really didn't do a whole lot of listening on there as these are more portable use um, in-ears, but I did play around on desktop for a bit and it sounds better with a warmer amp. So something like an LCX or a CTH, it sounded better. You put it on the THX 789 or the 788 and it became a little harsh and a little bit grainy and a little bit shouty in the treble. So the Jade Audio EA3 um, was hard for me on tip wise. As I said, the Fio tips just, or Jade Audio tips just didn't really work for me. And I tried all kinds of other things. I tried Dekoni Bullets. I tried um, RHA Dual Densities, Newbies, um, Comply, um, and a bunch of others. And the ones that I settled on were actually by hi fi -Man. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what you would call those. I don't know if they're um, by flange or not, but they don't have a separation. <laughs> but either way, I found that those fit in my ears the best and offered the best sound. They actually controlled the bass better and controlled the treble and they weren't quite as shouty. Find that if you do not have a good seal with the Jade Audio EA3s, the bass becomes very loose and uh, very boomy sounding and the treble um, becomes extremely shouty and aggressive. Overall, the Jade Audio EA3 for me is just, it's okay. Um, it's an in-ear in about the $40 price point and it kind of sounds like a $40 in-ear. Um, doesn't really do anything spectacular and it's not really a sound for me. Um, I prefer something that's a little bit more refined, a little bit more um, balanced in the signature. I um, just found that these were okay. Um, they're fun. And they're meh. It's been Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on the screen is going to be a subscription link and notification bell. If you haven't already, please check those off. And then check out the links down below for Intuit Reviews a link to his channel. And then also links to the playlists that I use from Deezer and Tidal. And also for links to Patreon, PayPal, and emails and however, whatever else you want to find down there. Thanks. Have yourself a great day.